Hey folks, welcome back to The Hearing Club. Did you know that you can install a lanyard to your custom hearing aids, or actually, more importantly, to your mom or dad's hearing aid so that they never lose them again? Yes, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that from start to finish. It's actually super easy. So let's get started. So you might be wondering or asking, well, why the heck would you want to get a, a lanyard installed on their hearing aid? And actually, you know what? Most of you that are watching this video probably search for this video to see how the heck it gets done because you are probably having trouble finding somebody or finding a practice that will install one for you. So number one, a lanyard for the hearing aid, also called or more commonly known as an autoclip, it's basically like a, a security chain for your hearing aid so that if it falls, it doesn't fall on the ground, it doesn't crack, it doesn't get lost, you don't run it over, you don't step on it. Instead, it just dangles from your shirt because you have it clipped to your clothing. I used to install a bunch of these when I worked for Belltone and I went to all the different nursing homes, all the different assisted living facilities. These were actually super, super popular. In fact, some of the nurses would ask me when I'd go there, hey, do you have any extra auto clips because such and such got hearing aids and you know we don't wanna lose them again, we don't want them to get washed. And I would say, yeah, yeah, no problem. So I just went around, I installed auto clips on pretty much everybody's hearing aids, uh, just as a courtesy, because uh, as some of you probably well know, these things get washed in the laundry a lot. They get lost, they get damaged. And when your mom or dad or, you know, your loved one is at a, um, a facility like one of those, last thing you want is a phone call saying, we lost your mom or dad's hearing aid, or it went through the wash. That happens so much, it is so common. So this is actually the auto clip. It's basically like the same thing that you use for your glasses, you know, so that you can just kind of like hang your glasses off your neck when you're not using them. Um, that's, that's basically what this is. And on one end, it's got an alligator clip and the alligator clip just clips to your collar like this. And then the other two ends connect to each hearing aid, the left and the right. You can also get them for behind the ear hearing aids or RIC hearing aids. And those are easier to install because you don't need to modify the hearing aid in any way. But when you're working with a custom hearing aid, it does need to be modified. You have to have something to attach these two on the hearing aid. And that's where these little eyelets come in handy. And I'm also gonna include a link in the description to both the auto clip that you can get on Amazon. I think they're about 14 or 15 bucks. And then some eyelets and a little tiny drill bit because that's what you're going to need. You don't need any power tools. You do all this by hand. It is super, super easy. Now you can get everything from Amazon except for the eyelet kit. And again, I'll have links to everything. So get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. I really like the ones that have a bend to them. You're going to want some super glue and then the actual auto clip itself. And then lastly, the eyelet kit. This is going to include four different eyelets or eye hooks and the tiny little drill bit that you're gonna need. And I'm not sure what size drill bit it is, so I'm gonna have a link for this in the description. And everything here except for the eyelet kit is available on Amazon. So I'll have Amazon links for everything. And then the eyelet kit, the drill bit, and the eyelets, I got those from Liberty Health and it is a good place to get stuff for your hearing aids. I'll have a link for that in the description as well. Now, just a little note about the auto clip because there are several options that you can get on Amazon. The one that I'm using in this video is a ITE binaural auto clip. So this is for two binaural ITE hearing aids or custom hearing aids. You can also get BTE or RIC auto clips which I'm gonna have in the description as well. Just make sure if you have one hearing aid, you're getting the monaural one, or if you have two hearing aids, you're getting the binaural auto clipped. This is an example of one of the RIC or behind the ear hearing aid auto clips that they have available. It's got two little sleeves with an attached lanyard. And these sleeves are pretty cool because they protect against sweat and it's gonna keep the hearing aids attached to you. So this is an option also, these are on Amazon. I'll have links for that as well. And the nice thing about these is it requires no modification to your hearing aid. You just kind of slip the hearing aid right into one of these sleeves and they've got different colors too. Now let's go install these little eyelets so that you have something for your auto clip to attach to. So here is the auto clip. It just consists of a lanyard, a little clear cable on one end. It has an alligator clip, which is going to attach to your shirt. And then on the other end, it's got two little clasps and those are going to attach to each one of your custom hearing aids. 
and then here is the drill bit and the little eyelets that you get and you don't want to just you don't want to use any size eyelets because i know you can get those separately on amazon but they've got all different sizes and i don't know what size these are i don't know what size the drill bit is so make sure that you get this kit from liberty health because it's going to be exactly what you need now just in case you bought one of the auto clips for the bte or ric hearing aids i'm going to show you guys how you would attach those we'll just pretend that this auto clip is made for the ric hearing aids and you just take these little loops and you put it around the hearing aid. There's several ways that you can loop it. Just make sure it's attached well and it doesn't slip out and you should be good to go. But it basically goes on the same way as your, I guess they call them croquis or an eyewear retainer, a neck cord, whatever that lanyard is for your eyeglasses, it goes on the same exact way. You just take off the dome, take off the sport lock, slide the loop over and then replace the sport lock and dome and you should be good. Now, a quick disclaimer, guys, if you damage your hearing aid by doing this process, which you very well can do, please don't hold me responsible. Only do this if you are confident in your mechanical skills, if you will. This um, Doing this can, and if you do it improperly, will destroy your hearing aid. Number one, make sure that you have enough room on the faceplate. This is the faceplate. It is the outside of the hearing aid that is facing away from you, the part that people can see. It's where your battery door is, it's where your microphones are, and if you have a volume control or a program button, that is all on the faceplate. And this is where you're gonna be drilling your hole. You wanna put the hole in the tragus notch or what's called the heel this is the bottom corner of the hearing aid usually where the vent is and a couple things you want to make sure of is one do you have enough room for one for a hole and you also got to make sure that once the eyelet is screwed into place you're going to have room to open the battery door so make sure you have room to open the battery door make sure the hole and the eyelet is not going to interfere with that and once the battery door is open make sure you're going to be able to put the battery in there sometimes if you're holding the hearing aid upside down or in the wrong orientation you might put that hole right above where the battery door opens up so that you're not going to be able to get a battery in there so open up the battery door on your hearing aid and make sure that number one the eyelet is going to be underneath the battery door not on top of it so it doesn't obstruct the battery from going in if I were to drill a hole right here next to the battery door, then I wouldn't even be able to open the battery door. So that's not a good spot. And if I were to drill a hole above the battery door where the battery comes in, it would keep the battery from going into the battery door. Do not drill the hole next to the battery door. Do not drill the hole next to the program button. Don't drill the hole next to any microphones and don't drill the hole over here where there's no room. Drill the hole next to the vent. This is where you wanna put the hole, underneath the battery door and kind of close to the vent. Now this part may look hard, it may look daunting, but it is really not folks. Uh, it's very easy. Just keep the drill in one spot. Once you get a little notch started, you, you won't have a problem keeping it in the same spot. And just slowly twist the drill. You don't have to go really fast. Take your time. It's going to take a couple of minutes. 
and just you know one turn at a time just start turning it and you will see some of the plastic coming out until you finally poke a hole through it make sure you don't press too hard make sure you're patient don't rush it and just try to keep it as straight as you can as perpendicular to the faceplate as you can and then before you know it all of a sudden you'll break through and that's why you don't want to be pressing too hard because you don't want to plunge the drill bit all the way through and damage the hearing aid Now that the hole is complete, go ahead and take the eyelet and apply a little bit of super glue just to the tip of the eyelet threads. You don't need too much. Once you have the glue on there, go ahead and insert the eyelet into the hole and start turning as straight, as straight as you can. Again, you don't have to rush, you don't have to move quickly. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And you don't want to screw the eyelet in until it completely stops, until it's completely buried. I leave a good probably quarter of an inch of the stem out just as a, because you don't want to run out of threads. If you screw it in too far, the threads will go all the way through the faceplate. And the only thing that will really be holding it in will be the unthreaded shaft because you screwed it in too far. So, you know, leave a little bit of thread sticking out, make sure it's not too far in. And that's it. Uh, let it sit for five or 10 minutes. Let the glue really settle and uh, you should be good to go. Now you can take the auto clip and clip it right to the hearing aid. I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to find somebody to do this for you, so I figured I'd show you guys a DIY video so you don't have to rely on anybody else. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will be doing an and I will also be doing a video on how to retube your behind the ear hearing aids from home. If you guys found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we finally got our Hearing Club website up. It is myhearingclub.com. So be sure to check that out. The website's gonna be kind of our general hub so you guys can check out Twitter, the Facebook, you can donate through PayPal. Um, it's got our email, everything. So go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. You guys all have a great day.